There we go. Good morning, everybody. Here it is. The masterful Cherry Max tool. Okay, so what I'm going to show you this morning is just a quick demo on on the use, installation, and removal of Cherry Max. So um, we're going to use these guys. And if you can dig through there and actually see, this is a CR3. So we know absolutely that it's a Cherry Max. It's a CR3-2, so the two tells us it's going to be made out of 5056. That's the outer barrel material. The four, ooh, the four tells us it's an oversize. Okay, so we're definitely we're definitely not going to use standard drills here. We're going to be using oversizes, uh, and it's a dash zero four, so one eighth diameter. And ooh, I'm cheating here. Dash zero two. Okay, so here's my rivets my oversized rivets in a Cherry Max bag. And here, here's my piece of metal, okay? And so you can see, <laughs> we've put a few in, uh, and we're gonna put some more in. And so, the big question is, uh, I know it's a 1 8 because I drilled it 1 8 Oh, look at that, you can see me in the background there. Um, the question is, what length do I need? So how, how do I figure out what length, for the thickness of the material, how do I figure out length? Anybody? Yeah, okay, well hopefully somebody said uh, grip gauge. Whoop, one of these guys here, yeah. And so we're going to use the grip gauge to actually figure out what length we need. So in order to do that, probably one-handed, I could probably I could probably use a vise here. So I'm going to pull that out of there. I'm going to put this in super quick. Sorry, kind of a hack. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this guy and I'm going to pull a seat over here so I can. Okay, so remember this would be a blind application. So we'd only ever be able to see this side. And so what we would do, hopefully this thing will focus, is we'll go into the hole. Okay, and we're going to pull this thing back. Uh, come on, baby. Come on, focus. How can I focus? Maybe if I click on there. Hmm, crap. Hmm. Shoot, there's got to be a way of doing this. Um, no, push that button, push that button. No, it's not helping me. Okay, so I don't know if you can tell. Oh, you can't tell. What if I was to do that? Would it focus? No, it's not going to focus. Okay, so. I'm not sure if you can tell, but the three, oh, actually, that's that's getting better. Ooh, that's actually getting better. You can see the three is out there, and you can just see, see the edge of the black mark that's right up against the skin? So that's two. And so the two, it's just barely, but I can still see the two. So the two, because that black line is still above the skin, at or above the skin, we're going to go and use a two. Okay, and so that makes sense. If it was a little bit more, then we'd have to use a three. But it's not. I can still just see the edge of the two, so that's considered a two. You know, you could probably almost get away with using a three, but you know what? We're gonna go. We're gonna go two because that's the right answer because we can just see that black line. Okay, so it did work. Okay, and so we know we're gonna use a two. Funny enough, because that's what I happen to have out. So let's 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 get a couple out here, and we're gonna take the rivet just normally in hand. We're going to take the rivet and we're going to stick it in the hole. Okay, like that. I need to snug that up a little bit more so it doesn't move around. Okay, and then what I got to do is I got to, I got to load up my gun. So give me a sec here. I'm going to go like this. I'm going to take the gun here. I'm going to push that in there. And so all there is to it is just, just the trigger, right? Just the trigger. And as I pull the trigger, you can see the pulling mechanism pulls across the top. Okay, so now all I'm going to do is slide her on. And what I want you to do is I want you to listen for the sound the gun makes. And yeah, you can't really feel anything, but the sound will make a big difference. So let's, no, don't do that because that's bad. Let's go here. See how I got a two click noise? Click, click. And that tells me that it's, it's popped properly. I've got no head gap, and the 
piece of metal has broken pretty much dead flush, so that's a good rivet. Let's just peek across. You'd never be able to do this, but there's my buck bucktail right there. It looks good. So let's put another one in, and let's listen to what it sounds like again. This other shaft will drop out. There we go. Okay, light pressure, pull the trigger. See, again, that two sound, two click sound. Click, click, right? That one, the, the little um, anvil stayed. So I'm just gonna knock it off, and that's a good rivet. Now, if we were to put in the wrong size, which hopefully I've got some wrong sized one here. Let's have a look here. Uh, yep. Here we go. So this guy here is, is way too long. But what I want you to do more than anything is listen to how the gun feels or sounds. You can't really hear the gun, but you can hear so. We'll listen here. See how it made that kind of thunk noise? And that thunk noise would drive you to the fact that, hey, maybe something something sounds weird, something's not right. And also with this guy, now all of a sudden I got a little bit of protrusion and there's something wrong there. And absolutely, ooh, we can see the bucktail is way out here or the metal, it should be you know, way in closer like these guys, right? And so if you ever accidentally put in the wrong um, size, that's quite often uh, you give me as to telling you, hey, something went wrong. If you can feel it and you can see it, then there's probably something wrong. Okay, so now we've got, we've got the wrong rivet in there. So what do I do? i got to take it out, right? So, of course, I went easy on myself. And what I did was I gave myself a um, universal. So I'm going to give you a quick demo, hopefully. Let's have a look at how that looks. Okay, uh, that's reasonable, I guess, hopefully. We'll see how that works. So what I'm using is a high-speed die grinder. And what I'm doing is I'm going to just try and take just the top of the head off. So you can see the two rings, the outer and the inner ring. And so now I'm going to grind away at it until we get rid of that outer ring. So... got rid of a little bit of the edge of it. I can see it's starting to go a bit, but I got to keep going a little bit more. Hmm. Yeah, that outer ring looks pretty much gone. I'm going to go just a tiny bit more just to make sure. And you want to be really careful because, um, if you get going with this and you get it on an angle and start to touch it on the skin, you're going to really damage the skin. We definitely do not want to damage the skin. So that's definitely something we want to be careful of. And then as soon as we've got, got it down far enough, what we're going to do is we're going to support the piece of material. So I've got a, 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 a bucktail removal tool here and I've put it in so that I can get my, hopefully, my yeah, my bucktail down in there and it's not perfect and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to need to um, get a punch and punch the center out and then I'm going to drill the rest of the the head off okay so I have no idea how I'm going to do this yeah I can't do this with one hand so um, I'm going to put this over here Okay, hopefully that works. Okay, so I'm gonna line up my my little piece here. I'm gonna get a really thin pin punch. Oh yeah, that came out super easy. So there's there's what's left of the core. Not much. Now I got a perfectly set up center hole. And if I knew where my drill was, which is right here, <coughs> all I'm gonna do is very very gently drill oh, where's my let's put my glasses down a second ago um, I'm gonna take my I might as well put it back in the hole I'm gonna line up my drill nice and centered <coughs> 
There we go. Pops right out.